Hello everybody and welcome back to Easy Medicine. I'm TMD and on this channel I'm trying to explain medicine in an easy and understandable way. So if you want to learn more about your body, consider subscribing. Today's episode is about taste. And no, not about taste in clothing or sports teams, but about your gustatory perception. Why do you taste? How do you taste? And where do you taste? This is something we will learn today about the tongue and also prove or disprove the taste zones in a little experiment. Let's talk about the structure of the tongue and where your taste receptors are. On your tongue you got papillae. These papillae create the rough surface of the tongue and these papillae look like little mushrooms. And these mushrooms have on the side the little taste buds where the taste receptors are. Check out this microscopic picture. The taste buds are located on the side of the papillae so they do not get damaged while there is friction while chewing the food. And the molecules in the food get solved in the spittle and reach by this way the taste buds at the side of the papillae. The taste of food is not only determined by the reaction at the taste buds but also by the olfactory system so its smell and by its temperature and texture. But what do we actually taste? So there is sour and salty which we taste by chemical reactions and there is sweet, bitter and umami. The sensation of sweetness is triggered by sugars and the bitter taste is known from coffee, tonic water or ethanol, so alcohol. And umami was found in 1908 in Japan and translates to pleasant taste and is found in meat booths and meat itself. And all the stimulants create their perception by specific molecules binding to the taste buds. Beside that we got the salty taste which is triggered by sodium and potassium and there is the sour taste which is created by acids and these acids are for example found in lemons or oranges or they are created synthetically for sour candies. I found this map on the internet and alongside with it rumors that there are taste zones on the tongue so you can only percept a specific taste in a specific zone. As you can see here you got sweetness in the front of the tongue, on the side salty and sour and at the root, so the very back of your tongue, you got the bitter taste. But there is no taste for umami at all, so you cannot taste umami. And let's focus on the tip of the tongue and do a very simple experiment. We should taste sweetness and on this spoon I got a little bit of sugar. So let's see if I can taste it if I use only the tip of my tongue. Yes. It's sweet. But now let's check it. This is a lemon and it should create a sour taste. But I should not be able to taste it with the tip of my tongue. No, it is sour. And this map and the rumors of taste zones are a simple medical myth. And it is busted. The last question is why do we have gustatory perception? So from an evolutionary point of view, we needed the taste for the choice of food. So sweet taste and umami indicated a lot of calories, so we liked the taste. And the salty taste is to a specific extent also pleasant as our body needs salt to function. But sour and bitter indicated toxic foods or foul foods. So normally we would dislike them but as the time went on the human lost a lot of taste buds for bitter and sour and also with time we lose the sensation of bitter food so this is the scientific explanation why you did not like brussels sprouts as a kid that's it for today's episode i hope you guys enjoyed watching 
If you did, please leave me a like rating down below and I see you in the next one. Bye bye.